Stanford University. This is a sound that is 3,000 years old. Conks are just attention grabbers. This is something that literally has an effect on the human being, even physiologically. These extraordinary shells were discovered by Stanford archaeologist John Rick just 10 years ago in Peru. Originally sea creatures, the conchs made their way over the Andes as an object of trade. Today, most of them live in museums. They became ceremonial instruments in the ancient temple of Chavín de Huatar and were used by high priests to rule a civilization that preceded the Incas. The magic of the shells enchanted music and sound experts acousticians at Stanford's CCRMA, CARMA, the Center for Computer Research and Music and Acoustics. For sound to travel between different sections of the gallery. Jonathan Abel and Rick formed a remarkable academic partnership that is now revealing what the impact of those ancient sounds were. World known experts precisely in what sound is, how to quantify it, how to study it, break it down, analyze it, the whole business. And so they thought this would be an ideal place to study prehistoric sounds. In the interior structure at uh, Chavin, there are a number of corridors and alcoves and passageways that are very narrow, they're stone block, and they have a maze-like floor plan. In addition, there are a number of ventilation shafts that go straight through all of the gallery structures. And what this provides is a very unusual acoustic landscape. I think the most important single thing I've learned is that acoustics is not some sort of soft science. Acoustics is real science. Using arrays of tiny microphones, Abel and his research team have built intricate models that study where and how those ancient sounds traveled. By analyzing these signals, we can understand the shape of the shell, and we can understand how the sound from the shell is projected into the space about the shell. That allows us to take these shells and put them in the Chavine context. This is Tech 43, shell number 18. For both Abel and John Rick, it is kind of an academic nirvana, mm. true interdisciplinary science that encompasses everything human to everything physical. You have archaeology and anthropology and you have you know electrical engineering and signal processing and acoustics. What more could you ask for? A real scientific base, a real humanistic interpretation and understanding of where humans have been and a social science that places that all in the context of human cultural evolution. It's, that's, that's just the academic world in a nutshell to me. For the Stanford News Service, I'm Jack Hubbard. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.